I'll good. Okay. See you, Lane. All See right. you. Bye. Hey, Stanley, lick her on the face. Lick her on the face. Come get her. Come get her. Come get her. Come get her. All right. Well, Stanley will take your place. Uninterested. Uh, come here. There he is. All right. Oh, it's Lane and Kevin and Stanley. Oh. Fall down and see what your dog would do? Well, my dog obviously would not care at all. <laughs> your dog would still look for birds over there. <laughs> kitty cats. Kitty cats. Where are the kitty cats? Week in review, Lane. Are you ready? I'm, I'm excited. I am so excited. Because we finally are getting this bedroom, closet, bathroom. Well, not the bathroom. Bedroom, well, closet. there were some things done in the bathroom this week. Done. Like well, close. Like really close. Next week's video will be a bedroom reveal. Bedroom reveal. Yep. Get ready. The thing that was most exciting the was The biggest that monumental thing that happened. Papa Restoration came. Papa Restoration came and started knocking out cabinets. And I went to the paint store. There were no shelves. I came back from the paint store. Shelves. Shelves. Yep, he's got his Papa shirt on today. That's right. In six days of work, he came and basically created a whole new room for us. What is going to be the main bedroom? We stole the teeny tiny closet that was in there for the front bedroom because of the configuration. And because that room is enormous. It's huge. How big is it? Uh, I think it's like 16 by 15, uh, 17 by 15. I don't know. It's big. It's huge. It's so big, especially for a house of this size. This is a 2,000 square foot house. So you have almost a 20 by 20 room. Yeah, it's really big. And there's no, there's no, no storage in this house, no storage in this house of any kind anywhere. Each bedroom had a little tiny closet. Yeah. So. So I actually had an idea, so I'm proud of that. Because Lane does 99% of the design. Yes. You know, I, I am consulted on colors and different things. Because I do have, uh, I do understand color palettes because I'm a graphic artist. So I actually do have some input. You have veto power. A little bit of input. Veto yeah. power, maybe. But she does consult me. But it's all her brainchild. There's, there's, but this you time, get a lot of veto power or there would be a lot of dusty pink rain. <laughs> episode is brought to you by Scentbird. Scentbird is a subscription fragrance service. It's a whole new way Isn't that a great to idea? experience fragrance. I know that I think that it is. We work really, really hard. When we're working on houses, we work hard and we get stinky. So <laughs> when we come back to the house and we get cleaned up, we I love a good, clean, fresh fragrance. Now, what is my favorite fragrance? I love when she smells like vanilla. Vanilla. It just smells smell like, like cookies, cookies and I can just eat her up. I love it. <laughs> so I actually picked out your fragrances this month. I picked out Love Vanilla, which is pure vanilla. I also picked up Honeysuckle and Dream by Skylar. And I love both of them. I can't choose which is my favorite. Uh, we also got Sweet Leaf and Grapefruit and Sandalwoods. You get to go to Scentbird.com and select what fragrance you would like to experiment with maybe or try out. I also have exciting news. Scentbird is now available in Canada. For just $17, you can try a new fragrance every single month. And I think this is a really fun way to experiment with fragrance. Yeah. Fragrance is such a personal thing and you can either love it or you can hate it. And this way, if you pick up a fragrance that you are not in just incredibly crazy about. You're not stuck with it forever. You know, if you go to the store and you buy a big, huge bottle of something and you get it home and you put it on and your body chemistry kind of changes that smell a little bit and you're stuck with it. Well, with Scentbird, you get these wonderful sizes that still last you yeah, meant to a last long 30 time, days, basically. but you don't have to be married to that fragrance forever, which I think is wonderful. Go to Scentbird.com and use code RESTORATION55 at checkout. You will save 55% at checkout for the first month. That means that you can get your very own fragrance for about $8. $8. You can't buy anything for $8 these days. So you can experiment with fragrances for as long as you like. Get to try out some new scents. Get to play around with some things. And the packaging is beautiful. I love to carry fragrance in my purse. 
but it's hard to do. You can't throw a great big bottle of perfume into your bag and tote it around. It gets really, really heavy. These are packaged perfectly. You throw them into your purse, throw them into your pocket, and keep your fragrance with you throughout the day. Scentbird.com. You guys go check them out. <laughs> and there's That's not true. a single one. That's true. <laughs> uh, but this was my idea to basically, we knew we we're going to lose the closet in that room. So what are we going to do to build this combination of closets and window seats down yes. that west wall, south so, wall? East wall. It's south. an east wall. South. That's, oh, wait, no, it is completely west, isn't it? That's west. Okay. It, I just feel like it's that's west south. because that's the north. sun comes in that's east. so hard right there. It feels uh, like it's well, west. Especially in the, yeah. Like, it's just hot in there, so yeah. I assume it's west. It's Anyway, <laughs> that side over there this is now... A, this is a landing cabin. <laughs> ...is getting a whole wall of custom-built cabinets, closets, shoe storage, and window seats, thanks to Kevin's awesome brainchild well, and... Mostly thanks to uh, Papa, Papa Restoration, Restoration, who is... Creation. Building the heck out of that. Man, they look so, and it's, I cannot express to you the difficulty of the job because again, <laughs> nothing square, nothing level, nothing plumb. And he's building this like elaborate stacked closet set. Uh, it, it was a, it was a beast. It he was seems a beast. to really take it all in stride. I don't know. I Absolutely. feel like he raised two daughters. I feel like you and I are like this more. And he's just kind of like, oh, that was well, wrong. You know, I'll fix it. he was a pastor for 50 years <laughs> he's and dealt with insanity that is dealing with humanity for 50 years. So what's a little wonky wall, you know? What's a wonky wall when you've dealt with what he's dealt with, truly? Yeah. You know? He's got the base all built. He's got all the lower cabinets built. He's got one of the upper, the big upper cabinet You got the big one built. Done. Uh, still got to do the doors and then the end cabinets, but really he's, he's most of the way there. For yeah. Sure. He's going to come back in a couple of weeks. Get about another week probably of work. Today. Yeah. In that room. And then I have other plans for him in other rooms. <laughs> he may not know it. Well, see, he, okay. Everybody knows what's happening with the economy, right? So his 401k money has like tanked as everybody's 401k money has. And he was like, I'm going to get a job. And I was like, why would you get a job when you can come be my carpenter and I can pay you? So, uh, we are paying him to do this work because he is a craftsman at it and I can guarantee you it's going to be done to a finer, higher detail and a better quality than, than any I, other. Than I could do. <laughs> well, that's a given. Oh. Well, we, oh. what we could do, you know it's true. Well. Don't be acting all wounded. No, he's, you know he's, he's better than we are. He's doing an amazing job. He is very meticulous. Very meticulous. Uh, and he does math. But we also started tackling the closet in the first bedroom, which turned into a way bigger deal. We talked about that two episodes ago. Right. Uh, but we actually did start to build it out, frame it up. Uh, we we're rep repurposing the beadboard, which we had plenty of because both of those closets were... Okay, see you, Stanley. Bye, Stanley. Both of those closets were... He's going to run over that camera and knock it down. <laughs> Stanley. 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 Oh, go. He, is this, he is so well-named. He is so well-named. Come on, buddy. St Stanley Steamroller. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, banana. Uh, both of those closets were completely lined in uh, beadboard, so we took all of that out. And it looked disgusting. I think we should really talk about here, especially when you go into an old home, you may see a material that looks awful. You may look at it and go, oh, this is been dirty. It's been beat to heck. It's in terrible shape. There is Throw it in the trash. There's no use for it. There um, is use for unless it. Unless it's rotten. Right. Or it's infested with bugs. Yeah. You can reuse it. And sometimes you can reuse it really, really beautifully. So the middle inset, of course, we found the perfect piece of furniture for. And we're going to build that really tightly in. We're not yeah. building it in, building it in. But, but we're, it's, we're, it's we're going to sit very tightly. There. We're carving out a space for it, exactly. literally. And then we'll be bored the sidewalls, the ceiling. The back, paint those a different color. Accent color. The the fireplace in that room, of course, is kind of where the color palette came from. It is a very dark green, but it is it's definitely kind of a jade green. And so I want that color on every wall, right? You want to you want to wrap that color around the room, even though it's not the wall color. Painted the room a gorgeous buttercream yellow, banana cream yellow, banana, banana. Did you say butter? B a n a n a s. 
This room is bananas. B A N A N A S. Look at that lather color. It's lather. No, it is banana cream. Banana cream. Banana cream. Your favorite. Making me hungry. I know. I actually am hungry. Should we go eat dinner? What'd you ask me, Kevin? I, let's go eat. And I'm ready. Are you ready? This is. I look good. And what's bad is in this video, you look so much cleaner than you, you actually look, are. I look clean. I don't look like I'm bleeding from five places in my hands. No, you just, you look, you, you look. I don't look like a you, creature from the black. You don't look like a swamp monster as much in the video as you actually <laughs> look. Like this. That is a, that's a special look. That's a special, special. Special look you got going on there. So before we go eat dinner, I'm gonna go like this, and Dad's gonna go like he is. But you are absolutely going gonna to get have dirtier. To go. I need to put some more paint on. <laughs> I wish I can't even. You can't even see how filthy your face actually oh. is. But I wanted that green on each wall. So we have the fireplace, which is the beautiful green tiles. Mm -hmm. The window sashes on the south wall, mm -hmm. and then the inset where the dresser is going to be on the opposite wall. So we had all that beadboard left over and this huge, gorgeous closet sort of framed out. And the eternal question is, what do you, what door do you use? We don't want it. Okay, I often go into Victorian homes and they've done that weird thing where they, they've they used the space from the top of the closet to the ceiling as storage, but they put those weird, just like pieces of plywood. Oh yeah. Oh, and I just, it, it, it hurts me to see. It hurts me to see that. That is ugly. Yes. So we reused our beadboard again with a nice frame. And uh, you're really brushing over the fact that I did something for the first time this week that I swear I would never do. Lane got out the saw. <laughs> My own and self. actually used the miter saw. I did. I, You know what I was thinking about this today, though? I think the problem. You know, I've always said I will not use a skill saw. I do not like skill saws of any kind. But it's the sound that I don't like. And I have fibromyalgia. You know, a lot of people with fibromyalgia have a lot of problems with, like, different sounds. Oh, I know. <laughs> Just try to eat in front of this girl. Kevin's drinking and chewing has nearly gotten him axe murdered several times. Yeah, but sure, Stanley eats and drinks and nobody gripes at him. He's precious. <laughs> but any saw, any any power saw that you, you gotta listen to me saw everything. I hate I hate it. That's why half the time when you're sawing, I'm like, I'm gonna go next door while you saw. But this time I overcame my discomfort with the sound of the saw and my fear of the spinny spinny blade. And I cut all the beadboard for the closet doors. That was awesome. That beadboard need a little cock? No, it's perfect. Okay, good. So it was definitely designed to be turned into closet doors for yeah. sure. Well, that's what's going to happen. We have them. You took them and you and you also glued them all together. I did. We created a cool door that's got trim around the outside. It's got all the beadboard in the middle. It's got a quarter inch backing. Yes, yeah, so it's nice and sturdy. Nice and sturdy. Uh, I was very proud of us for building those doors. Yeah, me too. And I love the way it looks. Once we got it all put together, it looks like it looked in my head. There, we actually had some progress in the bathroom. Oh yeah. We, well, <sighs> let's, tell them, let's tell them what happened. We had been trying to get a hold of plumbers and, ele and electricians. Now we've had one over here working. But what we didn't know is that he'd quit his job and didn't work there anymore and didn't bother to and tell us. we've been texting him and getting no reply. And nothing, we're like, what's going on? What's going on, what's going on? So we just happened, you just happened to mention, I think on Instagram, on Instagram, we can't get an electrician or a plumber over here. Well, one of our, one of the nation, one of our citizens saw that. My friend Leah Who we went to dinner with her and her husband. Uh, saw you saying that called uh, a good realtor friend of ours as well, Sue. Sue Stedman, great realtor here in town, and has the Cedars listed right now. She also has the Shilts townhouse listed, yes. yes. So if you haven't watched those two videos and you have a lot of money and want to buy a big fancy house, man, I would buy both They're of those. both RV. great. Both of them, either of them. Yes. I, which one would you pick? I think that I would go with the Cedars. Yeah, just because of the land. 
the land, and even though that pool house is all brand new, the pool is fantastic. I would almost buy it for the pool. I mean, it's that really great. Amazing. Really great. Anyway, so anyway, uh, I'm just pulling a dog right now. Stanley, Stanley, come Stanley. here, Stanley. No, no, don't come that way. Oh, no, no, come no, that way. No, 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 come this way. No, no, no. Good Woo-hoo! boy. Come on. Come on, buddy. I want to be a part of the TV show. <laughs> You are the star, buddy. Come here, bud. Come here. Come here, Spectre number one. Okay. So, Sue, so that so that night, after I, I put I, it out on Instagram. I got a text from Sue. I see that you're having trouble getting an electrician. <laughs> Give me a call if you, whenever you if want you need to. And I'm like, you got my attention. <laughs> <laughs> and the next morning, the owner and the number one electrician yeah. from this big company came out to see us and started talking to us about getting some people out here. So yeah. it was very exciting. So we got our electric, electrical roughed in. Still no plumber. Still hoping to get our plumbing like I plumbed in. I really roughed in. had hoped that this trip we would make some serious progress on the bathroom. But until your plumbing well, is roughed in. I mean, honestly, I think we had our hands full with the we did, rest of the bedroom but anyway. But do I think we possibly could have pushed the schedule and changed it a little bit to make the bathroom also? I think we could have. We definitely could have um but we don't have any plumbing and you don't do a bathroom without plumbing in it so i do have one quick little tip for you when closing in a wall before you close in the wall okay a couple things one thing i did want to talk to you about was thinking when you've got your walls open about what's going to go in front of your walls we're going to have a corner sink here i'm in the bathroom of the first bedroom we're gonna have a corner sink and it is heavy, cast iron. And so I wanted to put this two by 10 here where a screw is gonna go in. So it will be very sturdy. So I'm gonna put it one on both sides, but also as I was cutting this, we found brick, which means there was some sort of a chimney, stove, something in this corner of the dining room or the entryway we're not sure interesting this is this was the week that my like big vision for the bedroom the big thing because i'm i'm a believer that every room needs to have a thing every room needs to have Amen. something that makes it special this right? one's got like four though. it does though i was actually standing in it today going maybe this is too many in one room this room is really special for one tiny room it's, uh, super special. <laughs> look at it just eyeballs looking for kitty cats um i started painting my mural yes this week a tribute to louise yes on the wall and y'all probably guessed it but maybe didn't know lane can also paint <laughs> well but i have not to just you. like wall paint but like mural paint <laughs> But let me tell you what I did, because I made fun of him for putting the door in the wrong place. So I will make fun of myself for the colossal mistake I made. You got pretty far along. I, well, it was a big no. It no, was a big you just mistake. you didn't paint anything. I didn't you, paint anything, but I had sketched had almost sketched the whole up. thing. I was so excited to start the mural. I was so excited, and I had it. I wanted it grow. I don't know what I was thinking. It was late. Okay, it was late at night. I like to work late at night because it's A, I can work by myself so I can turn my audio book on. It doesn't bother anybody. Yeah. And I can just like zone in. It's hard for me because I can't see as well. Yeah, I can just zone in on what I'm doing and I can work alone. So I painted the, the walls earlier in the day, waited it for, for it to dry, went over there at night, set up my work light and started sketching. And I started, I had sketched the wisteria coming out of the floor and twisting around going into the floor and then coming up behind the window and then twisting up on the window. And I got it halfway up the wall and realized the bed is going to be here. The bed will cover all, all of that this work. that I have <laughs> just done. This is in the wrong, this is wrong. Well, uh, you called me in there to look at it too. And I looked at it and thought, yeah, that's fantastic. So I didn't think of it either. But. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. See, I covered you. And so then he left. And I, there was like and a little it section of it I wasn't. That. Well, there was a little section of it I wasn't happy with, right? I called him over there to come look at it because I was like, I'm having a hard time with the dimension of this twistiness. Come look at it. You came and looked at it. You're like, it's great. It's beautiful. It, this is just the sketch. It's going to be great when you paint it. It's no big deal. Then you walked out. How long were you gone before I texted you? Oh, it wasn't 10 minutes, five minutes. I texted him and said, I just painted over the entire mural. And I got back, what? <laughs> 
And then I explained to him, oh, whoopsie, nobody's going to see it. So I adjusted it. When you're working seven days a week for, for five weeks solid, sometimes seemingly simple, logical things, you miss them. I wanted this mural to look just like that photograph that I have of Louise with the vine growing in the window. Well, it starts growing in halfway up. So why I ever thought I was going to have it coming out of the ground and doing all this insanity? Look at this. I'm talking my hat all around. Crazy. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Well, part of it, you were you were using reference photos also from yeah. the wisteria we have at home. Yes. So And my, it grows more from the ground. My vision got a little twisted. We'll just say that. But I got it painted. Got it together. And what what all creatures do we have in the mural, Kevin? You have a beautiful, what is it, a swallow? I a guess? swallow, my favorite bird. Beautiful butterfly. Yes. And then and the winner of last week's, the week before last poll, a little bumblebee. A bumblebee! So if you voted bumblebee, you win. It was a close race, though. There were a lot I, of people that wanted both. I did. I thought it was going to be like overwhelmingly B. I thought nobody would ever, I thought nobody would vote strawberry. Well, there's a lot of strawberry yeah. though. So now I got to do a mural with strawberries somewhere. But it's a wonderful bumblebee. Cute, cute, cute. Little, little bumblebee up in the corner pollinating that wisteria. They're all, I'm, I'm amazed. It's a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful mural. <gasps> You're sweet. You're precious. So and Stanley loved it too. Finishing touches to do before we're ready to reveal it to you. And so the next the video big will be bedroom reveal. And I mean, this is a room reveal, but it is there's a lot happening in this room. Uh, that's that's why we want to do most videos, most rooms we aren't gonna do a whole room before and after, right? Most rooms are just like the last week that we work in the room, we'll, we'll show you the room. But this one, the amount of work that we did on this room was so monumental. It deserved its own, like, this is where we started. This is where the middle phase was. This is what all we did. And this is where we've ended. So tune in to next Restoring Our Victorian. Fixing Our Fixer Pearl. Upper Pearls Bedroom Reveal. Jesse. You like that swallow the best? The bird? The bird? The butterfly? The butterfly? Or the bee? Or the bee. I think I like the bird the best. I think I like... The bird best too, <laughs> but you feel free to vote for whatever but you, know, you like. I wear my swallow earrings every day. That's true. I look like swallows. The butterfly is good. The bee is good. They may be happy that they voted for the bee and the bee got on there. Yeah. But maybe their favorite. Maybe. Well, vote and let us know. Comment below. Thanks again for watching and subscribe. We share. We really appreciate you. You have no idea how that helps us. Seriously. Stanley would say Stanley goodbye. Stanley would but also say goodbye, but busy. there's a kitty cat underneath the porch right now. So thanks and a lot, guys. Come back next time and see the big bedroom reveal. Bye. <laughs>